Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Stedman. In this small video I want to teach you how to make this beautiful pumpkin hat. It's very easy to do. Any beginner can make this cute little hat. This hat is gorgeous and especially for those first baby pictures that they take, you know, from zero to three months that they put them in baskets and stuff like that. It looks fantastic for that kind of picture. So I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and here is the list of material you're going to need to make it. To make this pumpkin hat, these are the yarns that I'm going to use. This one is from Loops and Thread Impeccable, 128 gram, 100% acrylic, the color is pumpkin and is medium 4. This one is from Loops and Thread Impeccable, 127.5 gram, 100% acrylic and medium 4 and the color is forest. This one is Peyton Decor. I used this one before. This one is for the flower. It's medium 4, 100% acrylic, and the color is Aran. And I'm going to weigh this because I already used it to know the amount that I have now. It used to be 100 gram. So that way I'll let you know how many ounces I use or gram, how many grams for the flowers. So let me put the little weight machine on. So you don't want to need a lot of these. And this weight, 58 grams. So I'll let you know at the end how many grams I use. The crochet hook is four millimeters. You're gonna need tapestry needle and scissors. To start, I'm gonna do the stem the top with the green. So I'm gonna do a slip knot and I'm gonna chain what? Slip knot and chain one, and I'm going to chain another one, and I'm going to go to the first chain, and at that first chain, I'm going to do six single crochet. And this is one, two, three. Four, five, and six. I'm gonna go to the first one and I'm gonna do slip stitch. That's the first row. I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna do again the same repetition a single crochet and top of each single crochet, only six. I'm gonna do slip stitch and tap the first one. That's the second one. Now, before you continue, you're gonna flat this up, and with your tapestry needle, you're gonna pass it through here, and you're gonna tie that little hole and lose that tail. Okay. So you're gonna continue working the little stem until you have a little piece like that around. From the tip of your finger until this knuckle here, okay? That length. So I'll do this off camera and I will show you how to continue. This is what it looks so far. Let's see. And I wanted to explain to you that in between number one and number six, that slip stitch, it looks like a stitch that you're missing, but it's not. You have to make sure that you only keep in six stitches, okay? So you're going to chain one and you're going to do one, two, yeah, my yarn is open. Three, four, five, 
can six and you see the space here it look like a stitch that you're missing but it's not you just have to do your slip stitch on the first one I'm gonna do two more row for mine and it'll be done the length okay I did a row and it looked like this okay so now in row number nine we're gonna increase two single crochet on each space so you're gonna chain one you're gonna do one and two in the space one and two this time you're gonna end up with twelve and one and two one and two one and two and I have one more this one is it's not looking right In one, <laughs> I have a yarn over one and two, and you're gonna do a slip stitch on the first one. So now you have 12 stitches. You see, I start to look like this. So you're gonna chain one, you're gonna do one single crochet in the space and two and the other one one and two one in this one and two in the other one one and two one in this one and two in the other one so like this you're going to continue all the way around they start to look like this now in this row we're going to chain one and if you look at those single crochet here you have two strand of yarn one in the front and one in the back we're going to be working the one in the front so in the same space where you did the slip stitch you're going to do a single crochet you're going to chain one two three four five six and seven you're going to skip one chain and you go to the next one and only work in that front strand of yarn and you're going to do a single crochet you go to the next chain or the next space and again a single crochet only in that front strand of yarn again you're going to chain seven one two three four five six and seven skip one space one single crochet and go to the next one and only work in that one strand in the front go to the next one and do again a single crochet only in the front you have to make sure that you are leaving that back strand here because in that back strand is where we're going to be working casting on the stitches of her hat okay with the orange or the pumpkin color so again you're going to chain one two three four five six and seven you skip one single crochet you go to the next one and only one strand you're going to do single crochet and then the next one is single crochet so you're going to continue doing this repetition until you get to the end you're going to end up with six of these and remember it's a chain of seven and two single crochet in between and leaving that strand in the bottom here i finished the last one so remember that you start with a, a single crochet so you have to do is a slip stitch on that first one and it'll look like this and this is the top at the hat look like this okay I finished with the green I'm gonna chain one 
I'm gonna pull that yarn, but I don't gonna cut it because later I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna pull this really long. That way I don't unravel. Come on down. So now we're gonna start with the orange, and we're gonna work on here. Okay. We're gonna start with the slip knot. I'm gonna take it out of here and I'm gonna grab in here in the back. I'm gonna pass the orange. I'm gonna chain one and in that same space I'm gonna do a single crochet. At the same time I'm gonna be losing that orange tail. So we're gonna do one single crochet in each space at a strand of yarn that we left in the back and I only do it one because I don't want it to pull it too much okay so just one all the way around okay and it start to look like this So just the single crochet is for this part here in the top and then after that we're going to start with our double crochet. But that's what it looks so far. Okay. You can give a shape later to this. Here I have my 18 single crochet. I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to double them up. So I'm going to do two single crochet on each space. So you're gonna go all the way around doing two together, doing the same space. So you will end up with 36 single crochet. And I start to look like this. We finish that row, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna do a single crochet in that space and two in the next space, one and two one in this one and then you have to find which one in the back is the one right on top of you see a straight back here so one two three four so the next one coming up of the two together is the center of this one okay so I'm gonna do one first in here I go remove my hook I'm gonna pass it through here through the center of this one at number four I'm gonna uh, pull my yarn out, grab it here again, and do my single crochet like that. That's the two together. You're gonna find the next one, and you're gonna do one, and then here two in the same space. We are attaching this green part to the orange, okay. So I did two together, now I have to do one. Two together. One. And the center of this one will be one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna find the one. It's this one here. So I have to do the two together. And then in the next one is where I attach the green. Right, this got stuck in here. So I had to do one and two. Take my hook and I count one, two, three, and then number four. I'm gonna pass it through here, through the one in the back, pass the yarn, grab it here and here. There's two orange strand, and you're going to do your single crochet. Now you have to find the other one, and it's two together. And they start to look like this, attached to the orange, okay? So this is optional. You don't have to do this part like this. You can leave them free, like this, loose like that. But I la I'd rather for them to be, you see, attached like that, okay?
So you're going to continue doing this all the way around and remember what you do is when you get under here you count one, two, three and then number four you pass through number four and the one in the back you pass your yarn through and you do your single crochet just right there. So I'll meet you here. Then Once you finish, it will look like this, and you'll have 54 single crochet. Now we're gonna start with a double crochet. So I'm gonna chain three, and this chain three we don't gonna count in, on an entire hat. So in that same space, I'm gonna do my first double crochet, and you're gonna do a double crochet on top of each double crochet until you had your 54 double crochet. If you want this hat, just a few stitches more, just add four more increases, you know, like four stitches. That way you have 58. Okay? So you're going to do one double crochet and top of each double crochet all the way around. Here I finished that row and it's sitting flat like that and that's normal because uh, sometime a few uh, subscribers have asked me the question, a few beginners, that they're making a hat but it looks flat, flat like this, like a tortilla. And that's normal because as long as you are increasing, you are making the piece flat. Once you stop increasing, the first row is still flat, but once you start on the second, the third, and fourth row, it starts to go round, okay? It starts to go down the hat. So, in this row, I'm going to chain three, and remember, I don't count these three. And I'm going to start counting from here, five double crochet. That is one. Two, three, four, and five, and in the next one I'm going to do a front post, number six. Again, number one is just right there, you see, that one here, so that's one. two, three, four, and five, and number six, a front post. So this is a repetition you're going to do, okay, five double crochet and one front post and number six. I'm going to finish this row with a front post. And I'm going to do a slip stitch, not on the top of the chain, and top of the first double crochet. And it'll look like this. You see? It already started to take shape. This is a newborn baby hat. So, like I mentioned, if you want a bigger, you can do that row of increase uh, and the double crochet or you can do them in one more row of single crochet and do the increase in a row single crochet, okay? That will be easier if you do the increase in, the, in here. So you can do um, two and two together in the same space, two and two. You know, two separate and two uh, together in the same space, I like so, to make it bigger, okay? But it starts to look really nice. And you see, it's not sitting flat anymore. It's already started to take the shape. So for this row, you're going to repeat exactly what you did in the row before, and in every single row, you're going to do that repetition until you had is the length that go around the ears and then we'll do the brim so um, 
You see, I still have this here because this will be for the decoration of the little hat and it's easier to have already here. That to look very cute. So I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to do my... I'm going to do a front. I'm going to do a first double crochet. That's one. You see, exactly in the same space where I did my slip stitch. Two, three, four, and five. And the next one is a front post, number six. Again, one, two, three. Four, and five and the next one a front post so you're going to continue doing this and I will let you know how many row I will do and I, I will start counting the row of double crochet okay this is what I've done so far and look how cute this look So my husband just came in and he said, oh my goodness, that really look like a pumpkin. And I said, that's the idea. <laughs> so you see, I was already t taking the shape, the round shape of the hat. So I'm done so far, one, two, three, four, five row with this one of double crochet. So I still have to do a few more, but I just wanted to show you what I look like so far. Okay. Look at this beauty. <laughs> It really look like a pumpkin. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven row of double crochet. Now I'm gonna work the post. So I'm gonna chain three, and so I'm not counting those three. I'm gonna start with the first um, double crochet in the back post. It had to be a back post that way you get this front post as a front post. Okay. So the next one. A front, the next one a back, the next one a front, and the next one a back, and the one that we've been doing front post it will be a front post. So this is what you're gonna do this entire row, okay, all the way around. Here we're gonna finish with a slip stitch, top of the first back post double crochet I'm gonna chain one cut the yarn and lose that tail and if you like it longer you can do that but for mine is long enough so I'm gonna lose that tail and I will show you how we're gonna continue working with this here okay once you lose the tail it will look like this and here because we don't count the chain you don't see the seam in here so this will be for the side of the hat it will be like this okay this is the front so here I already have one chain. So I going to do 20. So two, three, four, five, six. I'll make you here when I have 20. Here I have 20. I'm gonna do one more to turn my work around. And we're gonna do some curly Q. So in the first one, I'm gonna do a single crochet. And I'm going to do another single crochet in the second one. And now in the third one, we're going to do three single crochet in the same space. One, two, and three. And right away, these start to twist. So in each space, you're gonna do three single crochet. One, two, and three. And you have to make sure that you only leave one strand of yarn. And when you do the three in here, the next one is really small in here. Okay, so you have to make sure that you go to the next one, not the second one. Okay. 
you want to work in every single chain space so you're going to continue doing this all the way to the end See, start to twist pants up. Here I finish in the top. I have one left, but I don't want to go work in that one. And I'm gonna do a slip stitch in the front, not in the back, in the front of this chain here. Okay, so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do a slip stitch in here. Okay, like so. Now I'm gonna turn my work in here. And I'm going to do another slip stitch to the next chain space. And I'm going to chain 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and uh, until you have 18. I want that one to be a little shorter than this one. And this is what it looks like here in the side. You see, and the other one gonna be here, more to the front. Okay. So I'll meet you here when I have my 18. Here I have 18. I'm gonna do one more to turn my work around. I'm gonna go to the second one. I'm gonna do a single crochet and another single crochet in the other one. So in the next one, I'm gonna start with my three single crochet in the same space. And in the next one again, we are doing exactly the same repetition. So I will meet you here when I'm done this one, when I'm on the top, okay? Here I finish again and I'm going to do slip stitch in here, in the front. I'm going to chain one, cut the yarn. And with the tapestry needle, I'm going to lose the tail in the inside. And it look like this. And in here, you can give a little twist to the tip. So we have to make the flower now. So I did this little decoration there. So I'm going to do another one. So I already, I will show you how I did that. I have my needle ready. So I'm going to bring it through the inside here. And I'm going to take it out here through the green, okay? To cross it a little bit and here. Okay, from there.
with the leftover yarn that I have in my needle I fix this here because I have quite a separation in between them so this is what I look like so now I'm gonna do a small flower and the flower is optional because with this it look already fantastic so I'm gonna do it and then I will places I will put it in places to see if I like it if not I will leave it like this because it already look amazing so let's do the flower now this is a little pumpkin flower that we're gonna do it's very easy to do don't take any time hardly any material and it's really easy I have there and I'll show you to how start to the do flower we're gonna do a slip knot And we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to go to the first one, do a slip stitch, chain one, and in that same circle in the space, you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. You're going to do a single crochet in the circle. And this is what you're going to do until you have five of these. So one, two, three, four, and five. And again, you're going to do a single crochet. So just like this, five of these. Here I'm going to finish this row with a slip stitch and the first single crochet. And now you're going to go to the first chain of five space and you're going to do a single crochet another single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and you're going to come here and you're going to pass it through those two, and you're going to do a pick up, slip stitch, like that, that's the tip of the flower, another double crochet, a half double crochet and two single crochet and those are the petals you go to the next one and do exactly the same a single crochet another single crochet a half double crochet a double crochet a chain of three one two and three you're gonna come here and you're gonna do a peacock with a slip stitch Again, you're going to do a double crochet, a half double crochet, and two single crochet. And like that, you're going to continue all the way around, creating the petals of the flower. You're going to finish here with a slip stitch and the first single crochet that you did here to start. And here, between those two petals, you're going to chain one, you're going to cut the yarn long enough for sewing. And then you're going to pull this tail here and with the tapestry needle you're going to close this little hole here really tight and then you'll have your little flower. I end up with two flowers, the first one that I tried to make to design the flower and then the other one to show you. So I'm thinking to sew the two of them, one here on the top and the other one maybe here. You see? So go ahead, personalize your own hat. One, two flowers, three flowers, and look how fantastic this look. I'm gonna sew mine and I'll show you the end result. The amount of yarn that I used was five gram of this one for the flower, 8.5 at the green, and 28 gram of the pumpkin. So it's a very economic hat, especially for those ladies that like to sell what they make. This one is a very easy and fast project to do and it looks fantastic especially now this time of year uh, that fall is coming around the corner and Halloween is coming and it's pumpkin everywhere this is a cute hat that you can sell easy well I hope you guys like it I love it <laughs> and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this piece and you want to send me some picture you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stedman, or you can find me in my Instagram, Ruby Stedman Crochet. 
Please share my video with friends and family, that way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.